Hey everyone, welcome back to Pavli. And in this video, I would like to address a very common problem faced by e-commerce store owners. And that problem is how to manage the data of products and inventory that you are selling on your e-commerce store. So here we have designed and created an automation setup to solve this issue. Let me show you how it is going to work. So the flow of this automation is going to look like this. Here we are using WooCommerce, which is a, a online store plugin of WordPress and Google Sheets to uh, save the data of the products. So here, as in when you'll add any new product in your store on WooCommerce, the data of that product will be delivered automatically into Google Sheets and the new product will be added in a new row here automatically. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect. So here this automation is going to uh, going to save a lot of your time which you have to spend on manually sorting out the details of your products from your e-commerce store and add the details of the product one by one in Google Sheets. Okay, so it will surely improve your efficiency and productivity. And guys, the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any kind of coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So the first step to set up this automation guys is to log in into your Pabli Connect account. For this you can check the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and it will provide you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay. So after setting up your account you can log in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here like this. And on this page guys we have to start working by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button like this. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name. here. So we have given the name to this workflow as add WooCommerce store products into Google Sheets automatically. Okay, so now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. And on this page guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to work on these things. So the trigger here is the happening of any event and the action is the response to the trigger. Okay, so trigger is saying when this happens, action is saying do this. All right, as in our use case, the trigger would be addition of a new product in WooCommerce store and the action towards that trigger would be to add the same product in a Google Sheet. Okay, so first of all, you have to set up your trigger here and from this choose app field, you have to choose your uh, trigger application which is WooCommerce okay select WooCommerce from here then the trigger event you have to select uh, this option product update let me show you so here you will find product updated option so it will trigger this workflow when a product is added or updated okay and it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL and it is used to fetch the data out from any external application to here in Pavli Connect. Okay, so with the help of this, we are going to connect our e-commerce store and we'll bring uh, the demo data of a new product edition here in Pavli Connect. Okay, so you can follow these instructions to do this. Uh, let me show you how you can do this actually. So first of all, let's just uh, copy this webhook URL. Okay, then you can read, you have to reach the WooCommerce settings and in the advanced tab you have to add a webhook okay so I'm going to my WooCommerce store actually this is my WordPress and here you can see WooCommerce plugin and from here I'm going to click on settings okay and on the settings page uh, you will find this uh, let me read these instructions again you will find the advanced tab okay so this is advanced tab and under this advanced tab, click on webhooks option. Okay. Okay. Now here you have to add a new webhook. So just click here on this button, add webhook. Okay. And here in this name field, you can give a suitable name to this webhook. So I'm putting here to let's say Google Sheets. Okay. And in the status, you have to make it active. In the topic you have to select you can read here in the instructions in the topic you have to select product updated okay so select here product updated option this is product updated okay and in the delivery URL field here you have to paste the webhook URL that you have copied from Pavli Connect just paste it here 
okay and uh, leave these th two fields as it is and then click on save webhook okay so we have added a new webhook here and here you can see in your workflow it is uh, it shows us here as you add the webhook it will show you this webhook id in this response section okay now click here on this recapture webhook response button and then click on yes and it will start showing this waiting for webhook response okay so this means now you have to do a test submission this means you have to add a demo product uh, in your woocommerce store and we are going to fetch the details here of that product in public connect and with the help of that data we are going to move forward in this automation okay so uh, go back to your woocommerce store and from here i am going to click on products let's uh, see where it is here you can see the products option so from here click on this add new button okay and this is the products page here you can add a new product you can give the product name the description and the image so let me fill all these things so guys i have added the product details you can see in this uh, name of the product it is blue snowball usb microphone okay and here i have put the small description of this product and here i have entered the details of the pricing you can see okay and the inventory details and here i have set the image of this product as well okay now I'm going to publish this product on my store. Okay, so from here I'm going to click on publish. And here you can see the product is getting published here. Okay, so the product got added and published on my store. Now let me show you in Pabli Connect if we got the data of this product or demo product or not. So you can see the data of the product got fetched here like this. The name is this Blue Snowball USB microphone. Okay and here you will find the status as published the pricing okay and all the details of the product you can see it is uncategorized product and here you can see all the details of the product related to the store okay so this is how you can capture the data of a demo product here in pabli connect and now i want to add this same product the details of this same product to be added here in my spreadsheet which i have created in google sheets application so here i am adding the details as this you can see the product id the name the visibility the description the tax status sales price regular price categories images all the thing okay so for this to happen you have to connect your google sheets application here in this uh, next action step you can see here okay and uh, if you want to check if this product is already already added uh, in your spreadsheet or you have the data of this product already in your spreadsheet, you can use a feature by Pabli which is called lookup. Okay, so uh, let me show you that also. So just click here on this uh, action window and from here, search for Google Sheets application from this choose app field. Okay. And uh, in the action event, now uh, I want to first check if this uh, product is already here in my spreadsheets or data or not. So for that use lookup spreadsheet rows option. Okay. So the, after that click on connect and from here select add new connection then click on connect with Google Sheets. And from this window select the uh, Google account by which you are accessing that application. Okay. Then you have to provide this additional access. Then click on continue here and you will be connected with your google sheets in a few moments you can see here we are getting connected and we are now connected here now it is asking to select the spreadsheet on which you want to add the data or you look up for the data okay so when you click here on the select spreadsheet field it will show you the list of all the spreadsheets that you have created till now in your google sheets application and the sheet i am using here is this one you can see the name of the sheet is uh woocommerce products okay so i'm going to select this woocommerce products sheet here you can see right now after that you have to select the sheet in uh, in the your spreadsheet so we have only one sheet here you can see sheet one so it got automatically selected here and then and in the lookup column here you will ha you have to enter the name of the column in which you want to look up for something okay so here you can see i have these columns in my spreadsheet let me show you 
the product ID, the name, the visibility, the description, all these things. Okay, so I want to search for this product ID. Okay, so if so, the product IDs are in column A. Okay, so here I'm going to put in the lookup column value, I'm just going to put A column like this. Okay, and in the lookup value, I'm going to map the ID that you got here in this first tab. So you can see in this first tab when you uh, scroll here, it will show you this ID in the first label. Okay, so I'm going to look for this ID here. So to uh, I'm going to map this ID here to map the ID, you just have to click here and you will find this WooCommerce product updated option in the drop down. So from here, when you click, you will find this ID, just map it. Okay. And it is asking if you want to include headers in the response. So I'm making it false. I don't want to look something in, uh, uh, in the headers because in the headers we have these titles. Okay. So these are the headers. So don't, I don't want to look for it. I'm making it false. And in the sort value, I want to sort the value from the top. Okay. So I'm making it top. Now click here on save and send test request. And this module will look up for this ID in your spreadsheet. Here you can see it is showing this uh, in the response. It is showing the data not found. So this means this is a new product. Okay. But if this ID that you have mapped here in this lookup value is present in your spreadsheet here, it will show you the data of that ID. Okay. And if you find the ID, you can update the product or you can leave this here. Okay. And you can change the values. But if it, in, in our case, this is a completely new product. So I am going, I'm not going to update the row. I'm going to add a new row in my spreadsheet. Okay. So to add a row, just click here on this plus icon. And from this action step, search, uh, uh, type Google Sheets again. And in the action event now, select add new row option. Okay. Then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google Sheets. And from here, select the Google account by which you're accessing the application, then give the required access. Click on continue. Okay. And you, you can see that we are, we are getting connected here. And we are now connected again. Now I want to add this product that we got in the first step whose data we cannot find in our spreadsheet in a new row in our spreadsheet. For that first select the spreadsheets name like this. After that the sheets name will be uh, selected automatically and here it is asking for all the headers. You can see it is asking for the product ID, the name, the visibility, the description, the tag status and all these things. So actually these are the headers of the columns we have here. You can see. Okay. So we need to map the data of all these things to add a new row here in your spreadsheet. So to map the data, uh, you just have to map the data that you have received from the first step here. You can see we have received the data here from WooCommerce. Now I'm going to map this data here in this step. So for the product ID, just click here and you will find both of the previous steps here in the drop down. And from this first step, I'm going to map the ID first, then for the name, map the name label. Okay. For the visibility, uh, let me just, okay. For the visibility, check here the visibility label. If you have any, here you can see visibility status, map it for the description, map the description, the slug label. Okay. And in the text status, you can see the text status as well, if it is taxable or not. So I am scrolling down and you will find here. Here you can see the text status as taxable, map it. So for the sales price, you can uh, use the same way and you will find the pricing as well. This is the sale price. Okay. For the regular pr price, you can check the regular price as well. So you will find all the details that you have entered in WooCommerce store here only. Okay. So this is the regular price. Okay. Category. Let's see the category. Here you can see the category. It, this product is under uncategorized section. Just map it. And in the images, you can map the permanent link of the image of your product. Here you can see the permalink or you can use the 
So for the image link, you can use this image source label, image zero SRC, just map it. Okay. So we are done mapping all the data that you have, that you have received in the first step. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request here and a new row will be added here in my spreadsheet. Okay. So you can see currently I have uh, 42 rows in my spreadsheet. Okay. You can see here we have 42 rows. Now let me click on save and send test request. And you can see this is the response we have received. Now let me show you in my spreadsheet if we got the data of this product added or not. And here you can, here you can see we got 43rd row added here. Okay, and here you can find out the name and all the things related to your product. Okay, so this is how it is going to work in real time guys. So uh, when you map the data th like this in this steps, what will happen whenever you enter the uh, enter whenever you add a new product in your WooCommerce store, this data is going to change accordingly and a new data will be, will be uh, transferred here and will be saved here in a new row in your spreadsheet. Okay. So you have to, we are done setting up this automation now and you have to set up this automation and make the connections and map the data only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually here in your workflow. After that, you just have to add a new product in your WooCommerce store and the data will be delivered to your spreadsheet automatically. No manual work will be needed. Okay. And guys, the good part is you can use the same workflow. First, let me give you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, guys, in the trigger, I connected WooCommerce product updated. Uh, uh, I connected WooCommerce store with this product updated event trigger event. And with the help of this Vabhook URL, we connected the store and fetched the details of a demo product here like this. After that, I used lookup spreadsheet module of Pebbly to see if this, uh, if, the, if this product is already present in my spreadsheet or not. So if the product is present, you can update it or if the product is not present, you can add a new row. Okay. So we have seen that the product was not found in our case. Then I applied Google Sheets again to add a new row, to add a product in a new row, okay? And I mapped the details accordingly from the first step and we have added a new row here in your spreadsheet, okay? And guys, the good part is you can use this same workflow that I've just created because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.